Hey guys, Chitta Fahadans here to talk about a new variable ND that's a great match for anamorphics. Today's video is about Nisi's Pro Vario ND filters. Let's get straight into it. Variable NDs are a pretty common piece of gear these days, and there's not much of a secret about them. So what makes Nisi's better for scopes? To see where they make a difference, it's important to know about secondary flares. These are created in between optics. So you might get a secondary streak between your taking lens and your scope, like I noticed on the latest FVD reviews, but you can also get secondary flares from front filters, diopters, and variable NDs are the most popular ones. You might remember a very old video from here uh, where I teached you how to boost subtle flares by adding UV filters in between taking lens and scope. Or you might remember how SLR Magic's diopters add blue orbs to lens flares. Now that you know about secondary flares, let's look at Vazen's 28mm natural flares. Purple blue. Cool. Let's add a variable ND in front of it. Now you can see a secondary streak moving around. Notice its color. It's green. If we look at the ND's coatings, they're also green. Do you know that? Is it enough to like the video now? <laughs> There's a direct link between coating colors and flare colors. This is where Nisi shines, since their coatings are strong purple bluish, like the most popular flares that we can get from scopes. By pairing these NDs with the Vazen, or any other scope with blue and purple flares, whenever we get flares, the secondaries will have a matching color. This is better. It's a unified look. Of course, besides flare colors, it's important the NDs behave well. So here are some shots of them at increasing intensity. Nissi makes two Vario NDs, one ranging from 1.5 to 5 stops, and a second one from 5 to 9 stops. They come in sizes between 40.5 and 95 millimeters, with price ranging between 100 and 200 bucks, depending on the size. You can find a link to their website in the description for more accurate information. The filter have a slim profile uh, for variable NDs, which is always a plus to avoid vignetting. And they also feature marks on the side and have a handy lever to avoid getting your fingers into the shot. The other thing I really liked about these is Nisi has a clamp-on version for cine lenses. They come in standard cine front sizes of 95, 110, and 114 millimeters, or 4.5 inches. I like them so much because the 114 millimeters uh, version fits around my Rehouse Lomos or Atlas lenses. I like avoiding matte boxes whenever I can, so having a clamp-on solution for cine lenses fills my heart with joy. I've used the filter on a couple of shoots now, and I love it. On the other hand, if you do like matte boxes, Nisi is also making a 4x5.65 inch tray-mounted variable ND that you can put on a matte box and be happy. What do you think of these? Let me know in the comments below. I never thought I'd be recommending filters based on their coatings, but after seeing the difference, it's hard to go back to green. If you share that opinion and you're looking for these small improvements on your already awesome anamorphic setup, you should subscribe now. Blake and I are working on a ton of new content up in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope you have a great week. Fehadengs out.